Have you ever wondered why you get along with some people rather than others? On a scale of 1 to 10, how many idiots do you think you've met throughout your life? Just hold that thought. Before you answer that question, watch this video to the end. Hello there and welcome to Insights with Joan. For today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing a book I wish I had read sooner in life. Okay, and it's none other than Surrounded by Idiots, Thomas Erickson's Surrounded by Idiots. Surrounded by Idiots is a book that seeks to explain the reason why we are the way we are, basically. So it's a book that describes the different human behaviors, also known as temperaments, and, the, and it focuses on the four main temperaments. That's the red, also known as the choleric, the blue, also known as the melancholic, the yellow, also known as the sanguine, and the green, or the phlegmatic. Throughout the book, the author tries to explain the different temperaments, like he breaks down the strengths and weaknesses of each single temperament, and he shares with us ways we can better communicate and avoid conflicts with when we're dealing with different temperaments. You know, there are certain people whom you just don't get along with. And maybe you may think the person is difficult or you are difficult, but sometimes you just need to understand the person's temperament and find the right way to communicate with them. And that's what Thomas Erickson shares with us in this book. I think that this book is a really, really, really great read. It gives us content on the different people we have around us and understanding every single person and how to better improve our relationship with them, regardless if they're a spouse, their friend, their husband, and they are just a stranger you just met. What I like about this book is the fact that it does a great job of breaking down the temperaments and sharing their proclivities with everybody. So you can look at somebody, analyze their temperament by the end of this book and know why they act the way they act sometimes. For instance, you know why cholerics burst into sudden anger or why phlegmatic seems to be chilled and calm almost all the time or why melancholics are super, super, super focused on the tiniest details that you really sometimes don't care about or why a sanguine wants to be the center of attention. They want everybody to see them and hear what they have to say. Another fun thing about this book are the stories. Now, the author does a great job of explaining different temperaments by using his stories from personal life. And I love the stories because the stories make us know that these things are real. They are people we actually act this way. And after reading a story, you can easily make a connection to your own personal life and see, hmm, this this story really relates to so so and so I, am, I had an interaction with and yeah it really gives you a better understanding of the whole concept of temperament another thing i enjoyed about the book was a fun quiz at the back like it's like a knowledge quiz that helps you understand the whole book and i liked it because i got most of the answers right which means i got a decent understanding of the principles of the book which is a great thing when you're reading you're like you, you don't just want to read through a book you want to really be able to understand everything or not everything but most of the things in the book so i was happy about the quiz i like the quiz the final thing i love about this book is the cover page oh my goodness look at this So what I like about the cover page of this book is that it's like a, a tiny encyclopedia. Like if I want to know different temperaments, like what their proclivities are or what they are prone to do, I just need to go here. Like it, as you can see, you have the red, the yellow, the green, and blue. It has a, sh a short um, summary of their characteristics here. And it also has like the disc system at the top, which is really helpful if you want to do like a quick check on someone's temperament or you just want to do like a quick check on your own temperament or any other thing. I really love the fact that this book puts this in the cover page. It makes the cover page more useful because most often I just flip through a cover page. If I look at it, it's beautiful, but and I forget about it. I just go die and I dive into the content of the book but with this book you can actually ignore the content after a while after reading it and just focus on the cover page as your re as your recall assistant i don't know <laughs> to help you remember whatever the content of the book is about like most books i've read over the years i think there's some of the content of the book is a little bit repetitive for my liking like i said before i like to read a book from start to finish so sometimes 
when the concepts repeat themselves over and over and over again, it feels like I've seen that before. And no, I don't like that. So that's the only thing I think about this book that I wish the author had removed. But some people repeat ideas and concepts to help the reader make connections like i've said before so yes that's okay for some people but for me i would rather just skip to what's next overall whether you're an expert on temperaments or you're just starting off on getting to know why people are the way they are i think this is a really good book because it's written in beautifully simple language it's easy to understand and it really breaks down the complexities of the temperaments because sometimes when you read articles on it it can seem really complicated but thomas erickson does a great job of bringing it out in a more fun enticing and easy to understand i let you go do you remember the question i asked you at the start i would like you to read this book before answering that question and find out if you indeed are surrounded by idiots or are you just surrounded by people who are different from you because sometimes we believe that every other person may be dumb or silly but the fact is they are just different they are made differently and once you read this book you realize we are not surrounded by idiots we are just surrounded by a diverse set of people well until next time i want you to keep reading keep exploring and have fun